Hello, I am Matthias Schara from Stortisch Technologies. Today, using our extreme heavy duty emergency pull wire switch ZS92S, I would like to show you how an emergency pull wire switch is correctly installed. Emergency pull wire switches fulfill a very important safety function the emergency stop of a machine or device. Therefore, a proper functioning of it must always be guaranteed. And if you have a particularly tricky location, this is a task for exceptionally resistant heavy-duty switches like those of our ZS92 family. A typical application would be stopping a conveyor belt in an emergency, such as here at the Eggersmann gravel plant in Kalletal in the heart of Germany. Emergency pull wire switches are installed at regular intervals along the conveyor belt. With two side emergency pull wire switches, as we have in this application, pull wires are tensed from the trip lever in both directions. Not only is the Steuter ZS92S more reliable, it can also be operated with pull wires up to 100 meters in length per side, considerably longer than the market average. And the longer the pull wire, the fewer switches are required, amounting to an important cost factor. Simply unscrew the old switch and attach the new one using the same fixing points. The Steuter ZS92S can be mounted in any position. Of particular interest, it has several different base and rear fixing points, all set at the same distances as the most popular competitor hair products on the market. This means that defect competitor switches can usually be replaced with Steuter switches without having to change their location. In addition, both the red trip lever and the blue reset lever of the ZS92S are available with mounting to the front or to the rear. This makes the ZS92S one of the most flexible pull wire switches in the marketplace. Emergency pull wire switches mounted along conveyor belts are often cabled in series. That is exactly what we have here. In this case, we need conventional electrical connectors and two cable entries in the housing. The ZS92S is available with a maximum of four cable entries. Alternatively, there is also a variant ready for connection with a Dupline safe module, making the electrical connection a matter of seconds. Emergency pull wire switches have to react to two different things. Firstly, they must of course react to a pull on the wire to stop the machine. Secondly, they must react if the state of a pull wire is not as it should be. If one of the wires should become loose or even come away altogether, the machine must also stop. For this monitoring function, the pull wires are fitted at both ends with compensation springs. Both wires are hooked into the red trip lever in a pretension state. The pretensioning must be equal on both sides so that the trip lever is exactly central when at rest. This is very easy to achieve if the wires are installed using Steuter Cable Tensioner's TS65. The cable tensioner has a lockable clamping mechanism which permits rough presetting of the wire. Simply depress the clamping mechanism and set the wire to the desired length. We shall begin by installing the left hand pull wire. To do this, we move the trip lever to the right and adjust the pull wire so that the hook of the tensioner can just be hung into the trip lever when the compensation spring is extended as far as it will go. Then the hook is removed and we repeat the process on the right hand side as a mirror image. This time we move the trip lever to the left and adjust the length of the right hand pull wire with the wire tensioner so that it can just be hooked in when the compensation spring is fully extended. Now the left hand pull wire can be hooked in again. If necessary, the wire tension in both directions can now be finely adjusted using the knurled screws on the tensioners. The switch is correctly adjusted if the two pull wires are hooked in and the trip lever is exactly central at rest. The ZS92S is now correctly installed and ready for operation. If a wire is now pulled in an emergency situation, the compensation spring on the other side gives and the belt is stopped. Let us now test the monitoring function. 
If one of the wires should become loose, the compensation spring on the opposite side pulls the trip lever of the emergency pull wire switch towards it and causes the bell to stop. Having tested both the emergency stop function and the monitoring function, the ZS92S is now correctly installed. This means that normal production here in the gravel plant can now be resumed.